Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Pisces July 2020 horoscope part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, first thing up is, well, as far as July goes, the sun will be in Cancer from the 1st until the 22nd. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on love, uh, romance. It could be superficial flings and interludes, uh, children, uh, investments, uh, fun, amusement, enjoyment, personal popularity, uh, creative uh, endeavors, even sports in some cases. Now, given that this is... Uh, Cancerian energy, this may be done with a lot of dedication, devotion, uh, tenacity, and a lot of nurturing energy as well. There could be very strong focus and attention on nurturing children and loved ones. And also, too, uh, this is about, I mean, Cancer can be like very nostalgic energy and about pastimes. It's very interesting that the baseball season uh, may be just uh, coming up near around this time and it might be resuming. So it's really going back uh, a lot of this for, for you baseball fans out there. Uh, Pisces, this could be a very a good period where you might be focusing a lot of your attention on a pastime. If you're in America and uh, and you're into into Major League Baseball, that could be one of those things you could be uh, focusing uh, on. And the thing about uh, this too, this could also shine the light in some cases on a rather temperamental or fickle or very changeable uh, could be a child or lover uh, at this time and. Or it could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Cancerian characteristics. Next thing up. Well, the Sun will be in Leo as far as July goes from the 22nd until the 31st. So the 6th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on work, health, employment, service, one's daily routine, diet, fitness, exercising, pets, sometimes even worry uh, as well. And it could be, and if you're a, a boss or a supervisor, it could be employees. Now, given this is Leo energy, a lot of this may be done with a lot of self, a lot of confidence and self-assuredness, a lot of that Leo-like uh, ferocity, and also in a very loud and uh, vociferous uh, manner, and whatever you might be doing, it might be done where you're, you're getting a certain uh, attention for it. It might be done in an attention-seeking way uh, to some degree. Now, the thing about this is in some cases, this might shine the light, so to speak, on a Leo-like health related issue it could be something uh, connected with the heart or, or the upper back and it may be something to remember that the Sun and astrology rules either the left or the right eye uh, depending on gender so in some cases it could be uh, some issue uh, with one of the eyes it might given that it's Leo energy it might be something you know, like kind of like a burning or type of uh, fiery sensation and also remember that the Sun and astrology can represent the father so so it can be where, uh, it, in some cases, this could be some, uh, it could be a Leo uh, father, it could be a Leo sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Leo traits. You might figure more prominently in your health situation, uh, maybe even in, in your diet, your fitness, your employment at this time, uh, more so uh, than usual, and even your daily routine. And whether they're more beneficial or to your detriment, a lot of that could be predicated and dependent on aspects that are made uh, to points in your chart and adverse aspects, say to your natal Saturn, they might be causing some loss or sorrow, some grief in these areas. But let's say um, for despondency, if it's a making a sex star trying to natal Jupiter, they might actually be very beneficial and auspicious in those areas. It might be very fortuitous. So anyway, next thing up. There's going to be a lunar eclipse in Capricorn on July 5th, so the 11th house is what will be emphasized in the highlight. Now, this can manifest in a multitude of ways. So keep in mind, for those of you that may not know, lunar eclipse in astrology is basically like a full moon, but it's more uh, amplified and intensified in its impact. There might be life-altering implications and effects connected with this. It might have a very prodigious and monumental effect 
on your life, uh, it can be something that could be, again, could be very life altering and, and very, and, and something that could impact you for a much more sustained or protracted period. Given that this is Capricorn energy in the 11th house, well, simply well, one, one way this might manifest, this could simply be the end of some kind of a, it could be a responsibility uh, to a friend uh, or some acquaintance or, or some kind of group club or organization. Some cases this might be as well the completion or culmination of a Capricorn type goal or aspiration and it might be something connected like with business, the government or politics. Uh, something with dentistry, accounting, even information technology, uh, architecture, and the difference is when you're talking about something like this in contrast to uh, a regular uh, full moon, this could have been something you might have been pursuing for a very, a very long uh, period and it might be something where maybe like in some cases where the goal or aspiration is completed it might lead to bigger and better things in contrast to something where uh, when you're talking about just a regular uh, full moon so there can be a difference in terms of what the impact is at the completion uh, in, in this case of that goal or aspiration as an example uh, it can so a lot of cases too in some cases this could be about the departure of a prominent or dominant uh, female in your life. It could be the fact it could be a Capricorn Sun Moon or Ascendant person or one that embodies those characteristics. It might have been somebody, maybe somebody that's prominent in your uh, you, you, and maybe that it played a strong role in your future, your goals, your aspirations. It might have been somebody that was part of some group related matter or organization. Uh, it can be, and remember when you're talking about like I mean, lunar eclipses, eclipses in astrology, when you're talking about lunar eclipse in astrology, again, it could be about the culmination or ending of something, but it could also signify some new beginning like for example if there's a responsibility Capricorn can be about responsibilities if there's a responsibility that comes to an end maybe to a friend or acquaintance or a group or a club or organization given we're talking about the 11th house it might allow you to be more cognizant of becoming more like say using Capricorn discipline or consistency in matters connected maybe with an aspiration or goal that 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 you maybe you need uh, to pursue or maybe your friendships at this time so I mean there's there's some things where an ending can actually signify a new beginning anyway well next thing up is there's going to be a new moon in cancer on July 20th so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted this can manifest in a number of ways some of you might be welcoming a new Cancerian uh, child at this time, and of course if it's born at this time it's going to be a Cancer Sun and Moon because it's going to take place at the time of the new moon. It might be a period, to, or even a new Cancerian lover might um, might enter the picture if you are unattached Pisces. It might be a beginning period for you to nurture and care for your hobbies, your things of fun, amusement, your enjoyment. It could be a time where you might embark or start on a new Cancerian hobby. It could be something like with rat water rafting or cooking or something with culinary work or, or maybe collecting. It could be collecting stamps or comic books or coins. Cancers can be the quintessential collectors uh, of the zodiac and um, or maybe even something with home decoration anything that could be uh, cancerian uh, related or could even be like a cancerian sport something connected with water something like water polo or rafting or canoeing or swimming you might start uh, at this time and also about a beginning period perhaps of more dedication and devotion uh, to your own personal popularity or some matters connected with investments anyway well next thing up mercury will be in cancer so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted now one way this may manifest and pan out this could be about reminiscing maybe about some past lovers uh, at this time or even matters uh, with children it could be a time too where you might find yourself being able to extemporize in speech uh, in matters with investments and personal popularity communications with lovers uh, with children it could be people you share some kind of fun amusement or enjoyment with 
And as I've stated about before, uh, can, I mean, Mercury can, is not just about communications. It also can be about siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Hold on a moment, people. Well, sorry about that. I'm back. But anyway, and these, um, and it could be, again, they could be Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Cancerian characteristics, and they might figure more prominently in your fun, your amusement, your enjoyment, sports, hobbies, your personal uh, popularity, maybe in matters with romance, maybe connecting you in some cases uh, to somebody, to a prospective lover if you're not attaching, whether they're more uh, beneficial or more to your detriment, a lot of that could be predicated and dependent on aspects or meta points in your chart. If this makes a sex star trying your natal Jupiter, they may be very fortuitous in those matters, but let's say an adverse aspect to your natal Saturn might be going the other way. It might be causing some loss, sorrow, or even grief in, even in those matters. Last but not least, well, Venus will be in Gemini, so the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, this could just simply be about being enamored with your uh, with Gemini qualities you may have at the core, such as being uh, quick-witted, versatile, diversified, being able to think fast, or uh, being verbose or eloquent. You might be making more of a discovery of those things uh, during this period and learning to love those actual qualities you may have at the core. Uh, you might not be showing as much outwardly, of course, in contrast to the Pisces energy, obviously, but it also be a time where you might be uh, spending money nearly as fast as you earn it uh, on matters pertaining to the home or the less dominant parent, which is often of the mother, people you simply feel close uh, to home with. And it might be a time where you, you value perhaps communication, intellectual stimulation at that end or latter part of life. It could be especially if you're actually in that stage or phase right now, or if you're planning and being futuristic, it could be something that you're thinking about in terms uh, of the uh, future. And if you're unattached at this time, Pisces, you may connect with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Gemini characteristics. It could be somebody uh, that you may, that might figure prominently in your home life. It could be someone you really feel close to home with. Someone that might, you, you may actually uh, be, be spending that end or latter part of your life with. If you're already there, it may already be applying then. Or it's somebody that, that you feel, um, if you're not in that end or latter part of life, you may be thinking about and contemplating that that's the person that you uh, may spend uh, that latter part of your life with. It could also be about being enamored, the enjoyment in some cases of Gemini uh, like traditions such as matters with communication or maybe doing something like with uh, puzzle books or brain teasers or going to some kind of communication uh, expo or something that requires like the strong being dexterous use, the use of the hand through manual dexterity such as uh, maybe things with automobiles uh, working on automobiles or, or, or some kind of repair work that requires the strong use of the hands. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, everyone learns and stay well.